You see, Lizette, what you've been saying is that society is progressing and the church must keep pace with society. But we are not champions of progress. We are champions of faith. We have a duty to be different, which is why we live with privations and sacrifices. While beyond these walls, life is comfort and pleasure. At times, these privations and sacrifices seem incomprehensible, wrong to us. They are neither. In truth, they are mysterious. And we have a duty to be mysterious as well. This is our strength. Out there, society is predictable. And whatever is predictable is also puerile. Am I saying that everything must remain exactly as it is? Not at all. But you sisters are already different and mysterious. The priests, on the other hand, have moved too close to civil society. So it is not a matter of extending to you sisters the rights and privileges of the priests, but rather extending to the priests the duties and the privations of you nuns. This is the only equality that is truly feasible in the church. The priests must do your laundry just as you do theirs. <laughs> they must look within themselves to find your grace, your generosity, your intelligence, and your love. Your righteousness will become their righteousness. And that's not to say that their sins will become your sins. Which of you is without sin? Fine. Whoever is without sin shall cast the first stone. This would be a psychologically mature relationship, as you would call it, between men and women. Lizette.